Hi everyone. I just uh, wanted to do a painting today. And you know, when I was back in Chicago doing the art shows and having work in galleries and things, I did a mixed media, oil pastel and gouache. I would like to kind of get back into using oil pastel with acrylic. And so I have some ideas. We have these wonderful flowing Litchfield Hills out here. So I just want to get a few things. And you know, oil pastel is a, works as a resist if you were going to use like watercolor or acrylic inks or anything like that. And it would resist the paint and create great textures. And that's what I loved very much about it. And um, so I'd like to kind of get a little something going. You blend oil pastels with, with a white or another color over it. You can get all kinds of things going. I like them because they're very earthy. You know, the horizon line, if you place it high, it puts the viewer more into the picture. There's more going on down here. You place this very low, and it's like um, you're distanced, a distance away from the everything going on in the sky and things like that. So it's kind of a, an interesting kind of a thing. We have a bit of green happening in things. I'd like to carry through some of these colors in other places. I'm not sure exactly what's going to be going on down here. We have rivers. We live in kind of a river town and we have all kinds of things happening. layers and layers and things far off in the distance would be paler and wouldn't have a, as distinct an edge on it so I'd like to get kind of that kind of a feel not, not a real distinct edge edges are really important you know they attract your eye and, and things like that if they're very sharp, they attract your eye. Kind of thinking something. You know, you like differences. You like horizontals and verticals and diagonals and differences happening all the time. So. I was looking, trying to, you know, it's good to work from a photo, a picture of something. I couldn't really find anything that attracted my eye, so I'm just going to work with the colors that draw me in. I'm going to use a very wide brush, one of my very, very wide brushes. I have my palette out here. I'm thinking that I would like some, I think the color I'm looking for is an ultramarine, but very pale, kind of like an icy color, mixed with titanium white. You know, I talk a lot about warm white and cool white, and titanium white is very, very cool. And you want to do things and put things in with different tools. Like a palette knife would do a whole different thing than a brush would. And then with my brush, I want to get kind of a very watered down effect happening.
I like drips. I like things that happen accidentally. You know, you put in color. This is a baby wipe. You take out color. You get different kinds of strokes going, holding your brush in a different way. These are the things that we're going to be doing in our monthly, you know? We want to make it fun. We want to make it trying different things, trying different things. See what we like. <laughs> I really like that palette knife. Baby wipe is a good way to get color going on a large area. I get a little bit of a Prussian, Prussian blue coming in. Your strokes are your mark. You know, this is where I say that we we're born artists. We we're born making our mark. And there's the craft side of art where you learn different techniques. Different brush. You learn different techniques and you can practice different techniques. And that's the craft side, you know? You learn skills. Anybody can learn skills. You practice skills enough and you get better at them. That's the craft side of it. Then, when you tune into your own personal kind of um, intuition, and you make something from that, something no one's ever seen before, then you start to get into the art of it. You start to get into what, what makes it original, what makes it unique. And that's what all the, the stuff we're going to aim for in the monthly classes. Kind of don't know sometimes just what you're going to end up with. I love texture.
There's this is another color, warm white and Prussian. <laughs> really love, and that's this. It's this down in through here. Ooh, you know, let things happen. Let things happen. Dry brush, kind of scrape it around. Let your brush work for you and create things. Little spray bottle. It's kind of blending. Blending with a, with a completely dry brush. I've been finding myself drawn to a lot of water paintings. Maybe it's just, a, it's just an emotional time for all of us. But sometimes you just have to play, not know just what you're going to come up with. I also very much like to mix my own greens with yellow and blue. Sometimes the original things you put down get covered up along the way. You want something that's interesting everywhere you look. Contrast. You want some very, very deeps happening. Contrasting from other things happening. Texture. The more you do, the more you find things you like, and your body just moves in, in different ways. And things start to look like other things. <laughs> I think I'm going back to my palette knife again. Little Naples yellow. See, when you play like this, there's never, you know, uh, the, you never make a mistake. Everything you do is either you learn from it or you love it. <laughs> so there's never anything wrong, you know, with anything. There's never a judgment call on anything. We are our own hardest critic. And you want to get away from that because it doesn't serve you. It doesn't help you move forward. A little bit more like this. Smashing that brush kind of makes it look kind of like waves or something. Time to switch brushes again. I 
You don't want everything to look the same. You don't want the same strokes. Let's take some of this and just bring it off to the edge. When you start to feel your energy shift, when you start to feel your confidence kind of change a little bit, that's the time to stop, take a step away, and take a, a, a different view of it. I want a little bit of something. I love Prussian blue. Where's my... blending brush green i'd like to carry some of that green in a little bit green deeper things closer to us would have a bit more detail and have a little deeper tone and then you know what you want to do you want to take a step away from it take a picture of it with your uh, iphone and that gives you a whole different perspective. And then you'll be able to see what it needs. If it needs a little bit more oil pastel, if it needs a little deeper, darker tones, things like that. I decided to do more with that ultramarine blue and cool white. And just kind of fill this all in through here. Be a little different than this side. And you know, there's something about actually having a horizon line. I like that. I like that coming in there like that. And then maybe just a little bit. Instead of that whole big bush like that. Just have a few.
things coming in. Kind of breaks it up. Okay, now, now, I think I'm going to walk away. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Bye for now.